Hey friends, firstly, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for clicking on it, and thank you for all your support. I have just reached 3,000 subscribers, and it wouldn't have been possible without all of you for watching, for commenting, for giving me feedback, and for trusting me to be your mentor to get hired with VIP Kid, GoGo Kid, Magic Ears, and whatever company it is that you found me through. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Tim from OnlineTeacherDude.com and I help teachers teach online and brand themselves. If this is something that you're interested in, I would love it if you would check out my website. And right now you can download a couple of freebies. I have one on three ways to brand yourself as an online ESL teacher. And I have another one on my seven favorite ways to find referrals and how to support them in those spaces. So check out my website if you'd like more information. Over a year and a half ago, I sat in front of this camera and I told you why I quit Magic Ears. I told you some of the reasons why Magic Ears just wasn't really the company for me. And the beauty of online teaching is that you can find a company that works for you, that suits who you are as a teacher, and a company that you can be successful with. And for me, it wasn't Magic Ears. I just was getting tired of the micromanaging, I wasn't sure of what they were expecting, and I just felt like the energy and the passion that I was required to put into teaching every day just didn't suit my personality. I really felt that I could be a teacher, an effective teacher, without all of the antics and without all of the energy that was required. And so I decided to quit. As of right now, that video has over 11,000 views and I got a huge response from so many of you who were of different opinions. Many of you were grateful for the perspective of someone who taught for them, who could give them some, what I attempted to make unbiased perspectives of working for them. Some of you were very angry and thought that I was just trying to bash the company and get views on YouTube. And others of you still went ahead and applied to Magic Ears and are doing very well with them. And I think that is awesome. My intention with making the video was not to bash Magic Ears at all. My intention with the video was to express to so many people that I was helping get hired with Magic Ears why they just weren't for me anymore and why I wasn't actively recruiting for them and why I stopped teaching for them. Magic Ears does offer a lot of unique things that other companies don't offer. And so that was one of the reasons why I initially got hired with them. I wanted a different experience. I wanted to teach more than one student at a time. And I wanted to help teachers get hired as well. If Magic Ears was a company for them, I wanted to be able to offer that opportunity to mentor them. So why am I talking about this 18 months later? Why am I bringing up Magic Ears again? Well, I'm rebranding my website and I'm really hoping to be able to support and help teachers of all different companies. I'm also trying to offer a wider variety of companies to teachers who may not find VIP Kid and GoGo Kid the best fit for them. There are so many options and it's really important to check them all out, diversify your income if you're already with one company, and just think about other ways to expand your business. I want to show all the options for working online, and I want to support more teachers in getting this amazing work at home opportunity where you can create a life that you love right at home. And so here is this video, a little bit about Magic Ears and what they offer to people that might be quite unique to a lot of other companies. Magic Ears has some great aspects to them, and this video is not going to focus on the bad, it's not going to focus on the negative. If you came here for drama, I'm sorry to disappoint. This video is going to focus on some of the unique qualities that I think Magic Ears can offer for teachers. I believe that in 2020, the name of the game is work hard, make no excuses, and go and get it. This is your business, and it is really on you to find what works for you and where you can really put your time and effort into making something really successful. What are you passionate about? Where are you going to be the most successful? Where are you going to find the most joy? That's what I really feel is so important in 2020 when you're building your online ESL business. Remember, you can only change yourself. Focus on the things that you can control. Stop making excuses. Stop blaming companies for the way the situation is for you. I really do believe that we have a certain amount of ownership on us as owners of our little online ESL businesses to go and get what works for us. We've seen bookings drop with really stable companies like VIP Kid and GoGo Kid. We've seen teachers struggling to maintain the amount of classes that they used to. We've seen new hires get lots and lots of bookings and we wonder why is this happening? Magic Ears offers four things, I think, that might be really appealing to teachers who are looking to either add another company or to switch companies 
or to at least explore to see if it would be a good fit for them. Firstly, Magic Ears books your classes. Now I know that this is something that is so appealing to so many teachers, especially teachers that are either coming from a company where it's company booked, meaning that the company books your classes for you, and I know a lot of teachers that are you know, checking out lots of companies and would like to have a little bit of job security from the very first day. It is going to take time, like with any company, to build up your schedule, but Magic Ears will start you out around 40 to 50% booked from what you open and how much you are available, and as you rank up in their ranking system, you will get a higher percentage of your classes booked. I have a blog post that I'm going to stick down in the description below where I talk a little bit about the ranking system and I talk about lots of other aspects of working for Magic Ears, the good, the bad, and the ugly, <laughs> but I focus really on the facts and I focus on what it takes to become a Magic Ears teacher and some of those important FAQs that you might be wondering about. Secondly, Magic Ears has a very lenient cancellation policy. I have always recommended Magic Ears to teachers that need a company that has a flexible cancellation policy. That means that you can actually let them know you are not able to teach for reason A, B, or C, and they don't ask any questions. Obviously there are limits and restrictions on that, but if you're someone that is a little bit um, hesitant about making commitments because you have other things going on, such as uh, emergencies or medical concerns, or you might have a disability of some sort and you need to take time off from time to time, Magic Ears can be a really good platform for you. Thirdly, Magic Ears hires those in their final year of their degree. If you are applying to Magic Ears and you're in your final year of getting your degree, make sure that you highlight all those other things that make you a great teacher, your experiences, your qualifications, and any certifications you have. This would be a good time to get the TESOL certificate. Let them know that you've already got that and that you understand how to teach English to children. I'm going to drop a link below. It is an affiliate link. It's a link for a TESOL certificate if this is something that you need. It costs $19, guys. It's super cheap. It took me about five hours to complete in total. I am very thankful for my time at Magic Ears. I'm very thankful for the experience, what I learned, and being able to manage multiple students in the classroom has really helped me to be a better online ESL teacher today. My fourth reason is because of the professional development and the experience that you get working for a company like Magic Ears. Now, Magic Ears has a very high standard for their teachers. They have a certain level of passion and energy that they require in their classrooms. Some of their micromanaging techniques really caused me to wonder what they were really looking for and caused me to doubt myself as a teacher as well. Now, I wasn't with them long enough to really be able to say whether that is something that um, improved over time, but it's something that I have heard from several folks at work at Magic Ears, and so for me, that's why one of the reasons why I didn't want to teach for them anymore. But let me tell you, you really do learn a lot. You learn a lot about managing multiple cameras. You learn a lot about involving four students in one 25-minute lesson. You learn a lot about the dynamics of having students engage with each other and the communication and um, conversation that happens within that is incredible and it was really neat to be a part of that and to learn some of those great skills on their platform. If you would like to get hired with Magic Ears, I have some information below through my blog post that will be helpful to you, hopefully to determine if this is the company that you want to um, pursue. And if you have any questions, you can absolutely send me an email and I would be happy to help you answer your questions. If you are interested in teaching online for Magic Ears or for another company, head on over to my website and click on the Teach menu item at the top. This will show you some of the companies that I am recommending right now. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, I would love it if you would click subscribe. I am really trying to grow this channel to reach even more people. And it wouldn't be without folks like you clicking subscribe, clicking that bell for notifications, joining my lives when I do them, uh, commenting below if you've got anything to add, giving this video a thumbs up is so good for the algorithm. And I would love it if you would do that as well as leave me a comment. Thank you for watching everyone. Whatever you do, make it a good day, be good to each other and always remain optimistic. Thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Goodbye.